Hello everyone, my name is Izumi and I am sick currently. <laughs> uh, I wanted to make a video though really bad about Internet Crush because sadly, um, the last episode of Internet Crush has been delayed obviously. Um, not the last episode as in like the last episode of the series, the last episode as in the episode that was supposed to come out last um, but is now put off. Um, should be coming out sometime this week, so make sure to stay tuned for that. But I thought I'd just give you guys a little bit of a behind the scenes of Internet Crush so that you guys have a little something to hold you over in the meantime. Now, if you hear me pausing in between lines a lot, um, that is because I, I am coughing in between lines, and so that is, that is why. My voice is not to normal yet, that is why the episode is so delayed, because I need to record lines, and I can't in this state. <laughs> So we are right now in the set of Izumi's house. Um, it is a really cute little set. I really like Izumi's house. I think it turned out really cool. Um, and I mean, all the sets I think are really cool actually. I, I, I've, I've built um, this whole world by myself. Um, it is still in the progress of being built actually. Um, just, you know, things that aren't really in frame slash aren't really needed to be built, aren't built, but I'm slowly but surely uh, chipping away at the grandiose build that is this town, uh, aka Eco City. Um, if you look on the map here, uh, there are there are a lot of different uh, buildings that have already been built. Um, you also, if you watched any of the behind the scenes streams, you may notice that there's a lot more buildings than what were built before. Uh, before there was about there was this one, and then about like a couple of these. And uh, I think it was like a couple houses here and then some of these. Um, this wasn't here before. Um, uh, I don't think a lot of these were here before. Um, this I built on stream. Um, this I built on stream. This wasn't here before. And I have a highway now going, going on the corner um, of the town. Um, and I have like the layout of some of the streets ready um, to get ready to build more sections. Um, I, I have made a basically like a mock map of how I'm trying to make the make the city look. Um, and I'm very excited for when it gets to that final point and I, I, I really like this city and I think it's gonna turn out really really cool. A lot of the buildings are <laughs> pretty unfinished as you can tell. Uh, a lot of them don't have roofs, a lot of them are just big rectangles practically at this point. Um, but the blocking has been coming along as well as the building for more and more buildings. Um, over here we have, this is going to be a plaza, um, I think it's going to be really cool looking. Um, it's right across the street from Denki's house, this is Denki's house right here. Uh, you can you can see it in there. Um, and this is going to be a really cool plaza across the street, I think it's going to turn out really really cool in the end. I'm gonna fly over to school drinking my boba. <laughs> mm, delicious. <laughs> and here we have Echo High itself. Um, I, I, I have a lot to work on in the second floor of this still. This is pretty empty still. Uh, ooh, look at the sun rays. Pretty. Look at those pretty sun rays. We love to see it. Um, and also we have the gym. The gym is completely empty. Uh, it, is, it is not finished in the slightest. Uh, but the first floor and the third floor are pretty pretty much at least for the most part from like an exterior standpoint finished um, Obviously these are gonna have like more more like rooms and stuff. Oh, it looks so pretty in here. Just ah oh. I'm very proud of how these sets are turned out. I think I'm the most proud of these sets as I've been proud of any set really um, Internet crush and uh, like my past projects uh, such as Charmed Academics, like they've been very different aesthetics, um, and I feel like um, each time I get to play around with a new aesthetic, it's just a lot of fun, um, and it makes me feel like I, I really am able to explore every type of way I could build something. <laughs> I want to do even more build streams and even more behind the scenes content, but I want you guys to tell me exactly what you want to see. Um, would you like to see um, some set tours? Would you like to see uh, possibly, uh, I don't know, a Q&A? Would you like to see me talking about editing? Would you like to see me talk about writing? Whatever it may be, just let me know down in the comments below. Um, I really, really enjoy making content. Um, and I really want to make sure I make content that you guys enjoy. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, let's go on to the next set real quick and then, uh, 
I'm also going to be talking about uh, some of the logistics of making a Minecraft roleplay like I do. This is an alleyway set that is slowly but surely coming along. We have like a clothing store, we have a uh, boba shop, which is very fitting, hence I'm carrying boba. Um, this is going to be something. I'm not really sure yet, uh, to be honest. It looks really cool though. I honestly might make it like a nightclub type experience, like you walk downstairs to something. Uh, I think that'd be pretty cool. It kind of looks, it kind of looks kind of like a gothic, gothic club kind of vibe. Uh, we have like a little, a little like window restaurant type of vibe. Um, a tiny grocer's, like these are all like very small little markets. Uh, very like local, like you rent out the unit type of lots. Um, and I, I want this whole, this whole strip to feel like it's really lively and I'm gonna fill it up with NPCs and it's gonna look really cool at the end. Um, but yeah, if you guys have ideas for these buildings, also let me know in the comments. Just a lot of, a lot of comments today. I, 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 since I'm sick and I can't work on some stuff, I, 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 I really like being able to talk with you guys in comments. So I appreciate all the interaction that you guys have been giving me and the sweet, words of you know wishing me well and stuff like that in the comments and I, I appreciate you guys a lot thank you for uh thank you for also like putting up with my uh video of my cats while i was sick um uh, well because i am sick um i i felt like it was really weird that i hadn't posted in like two weeks um because that's not normal for me and so i i really wanted to get a video out for you guys and i just like i couldn't even i couldn't get out of bed like that's literally i couldn't get out of bed that was the first day, like, I, like, sat on the couch instead, uh, for a good bit of the day, and so I was like, well, I might as well just take a video of my cats, and that was the most exercise I had gotten in the past week. <laughs> uh, but, regardless, um, answering some, answering some, like, frequently asked questions, I feel like, when it comes to creating a Minecraft roleplay real quick. So, Specifically, Grand Internet Crush, I got a lot of comments talking about how they really miss the type of roleplay that I'm making, um, and they're glad to see it back. And I totally agree. I don't think there's nearly as many roleplays as there should be nowadays. I think roleplaying is such a cool way to tell a story, and I don't know, I just, I really love it. Um, I think that there's so many different ways you can show your creativity through it, and I think Minecraft is such a cool game. I think that it's, it's just such a fun community and game that I, I don't know, it's had, it's holds, it's held such a special place in my heart since I found Minecraft back when I was but a wee, but a wee lass, probably about like six or seven years old, probably about seven or, seven or eight actually is more accurate, and then I found, uh, like the Minecraft YouTubers that really, like really introduced me to this whole world, um, when I was about eight or nine, um, specifically Afma was the biggest one, and I also watched a lot of Dan TDM. Um, and I, I just, I, I love all those types of YouTubers from that era. They were all, they all have somewhat of a place in my heart, even if I only watched one video or if I watched thousands of their videos. You know, um, specifically though, I, I, I really like bringing back this style of media again. Um, there are a lot of talented creators in this community that I think are amazing. Um, some of my friends are in this community and I think they're all doing an amazing job. Um, but I, I kind of got what you guys were saying um, in the comments of Internet Crush. Um, Internet Crush feels nostalgic um, and I don't really know how I, how I did that exactly. Um, and I'm by no means saying, oh yes, my, 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 <laughs> oh, it did <laughs> I meant to zoom in. Uh, oh yes, oh, my my Minecraft roleplay is so amazing. It's just, uh, uh, no, I'm not saying that. I think I'm very proud of the Minecraft roleplay I'm making, and I think that it is really good, uh, but I think there's plenty that are better, um, and plenty that are worse, you know, I, I don't think, I think it's pretty, like, it's, I, I think everyone has the potential to do amazing things, regardless of where they're at currently, and I also think that, um, there are many people that are at their full potential or close to it that are doing amazing things already. Um, and I know I'm not at my full potential yet, so a lot of lo a long ways to come, but I do think that Internet Crush is some of the best quality I've ever made in a roleplay, and I think it is one of the higher quality roleplays that are left on YouTube. Um, and as for the whole nostalgia thing, I don't know how I did that thing that you guys are talking about. Um, it feels, um, not necessarily nostalgic, but more so, it feels like those older roleplays. Um, it feels like 
the 2016-2017 era of, you know, Minecraft role plays, I feel like. Um, and I don't, I, again, I'm not sure how. Um, I'm really happy though that it, that it gives you guys those vibes. I mean, it gives me that vibe too, because it's really healing for my inner child internet crush because it is a story i came up with in 2017 18 like around there like uh, 2018 it's actually exactly because i met tamakichi aka gabe in 2018 and we started dating in 2019 and i met him through internet crush because this was an originally a story that was very different from what it is now uh, that was going to be a minecraft roleplay movie um, back in 2018, um, called Internet Crush, and I ended up taking that story, merging it with Echo High, um, and creating the current day Internet Crush, um, but it used to be something very different, and Gabe, uh, was actually playing my best friend in the series, um, now played by, uh, Zen. It, it wasn't Denki, it was a character named Archer in the original series, but a lot has changed since the original series, so... You gotta, you gotta take everything from the original series of a grain of salt, but, um, uh, I met him through that, and, uh, so that must have been 2018, um, and that may be why, that might be why, is because the, the storyline is practically the same. The only thing that has changed is the characters in the world, so that's probably why it feels so, like, it feels like those role plays, um, and I'm glad it does. I really am glad it does, um, and I hope to bring more of this to the community um, to show people that this is this is fun, and I I don't think we need to take it so seriously all the time. Um, Internet Crush is by no means a revolutionary storyline. It's honestly a very basic, like stereotype, uh, like fanfic story. Honestly, uh, your celebrity crush moves next door, like pretty basic stuff but um it's not the story it's not the story premise it's the the actual details i feel like that make a good story um something can be the most generic like i don't know like generic like face value like oh so, like superhero stories take that for example like there's a million superhero stories but there's a reason why some are better than others in you know op opinions obviously but some are objectively better than others. And that's not because the others are bad, it's because because they all share the same premise. It's 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 the the details between that make it really shine or blend in with the crowd. Um, and I'm glad you really you guys are really enjoying what I'm doing so far. I I, I am such a big fan of it as well, and um, I hope you guys continue to enjoy it. There's a lot of cool stuff coming up. And uh, the story just gets better from here. And so, yeah, I am very excited. Um, one more quick little, like, frequently asked question thing I want to answer. Um, and then we will go ahead and move on. So I'm kind of looping, like, three different questions into one question real quick. Um, first one is, am I doing a casting call for Internet Crush? And no, I am not. I've already found all my voice actors and they're all just my friends that happen to voice act. So that is why the voice acting is very cohesive in this role play because I, through time of being online and being friends with voice actors, have found a lot of amazing voice actors that are just really cool people. Um, and so, yeah, that, that, that I will not be doing a casting call for Internet Crush. Um, if I do though, if I need extras or I need a specific character or for season two, if we end up doing a season two, uh, right now I don't plan on doing a season two, but hey, I love this series and I love like how it's going and the story it's going to tell. And so, hey, if it, if it ends up getting a season two, that's because of your guys' amazing support. So yeah, keep up the amazing support, I guess. But if I end up needing to do a casting call for season two or something, um, I will let you guys know. Don't worry. Um also on top of that like if there's any updates with the series you can get those updates on my twitter which is at hi it's izumi all my socials are hi it's izumi um besides my kofi i believe uh, my kofi's izumi gaming um but uh you can sorry my brain is all over the place covid brain fog is like so real <laughs> jeez um 
you can find the updates there. That's where I was talking about. Um, on Twitter, at Um I also do occasional updates on Instagram, on like my stories and stuff, which is also at Um as well as on the community tab. So yes, keep keep an eye out all on there. And if you want extra updates and you want your name in the next episode of Internet Crush, uh, make sure to become a member. Uh, uh, click the join button and you'll see all the deets of what you get. Um, there is like, a, I think it's like a $3, $5, and like $15, something like that. Um, and it all goes towards me being able to do this for my full-time job. That is my dream. Oh my God. I really want it so desperately. <laughs> I want this to be able to be my, my job. Uh, that would be pretty awesome. Cause then you guys would get even more content without me driving myself crazy. So anyways, um, uh, make sure to share this, uh, with someone who you think would enjoy it. Um, thank you guys for supporting me, even though I am very sick, uh, and I should be back on the grind pretty soon. Love you guys. Goodbye.